Boy, I'm sure glad I got that new promotion here at the station and making a lot more money than a lot of other people here what? at the station. Ah, just drop it. Where, where is the paper towels? I was back there rinsing well, off some salary. That's all there is. This thing dropped out on the floor a few minutes ago, and, and I can't get it to work Oh, for some reason, but now it works. Well, that's... It seemed right hard at the time. But now, <laughs> let, me, let me put it back in there and see if it's I can amazing. get it back in. He is it a is. mechanical genius with a lot of things, but not with the paper towel rack. Well, take it easy on the paper towels. Is this an over there's or only, an under? There's only one left. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just iron them out, hang them up We dry. have fallen on tough times, but we have got that new job promotion. Yes, uh-huh. Oh, now, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's yes, Oh, yes, yeah, yes, today. Yes, yeah. Right. That's and why we're you saw Johnson going up the hall with that cleaning fluid. Right. <laughs> and to uh, celebrate our new promotion here at the station, uh -huh. we're going to fix a fine promotion-oriented meal. I'm doing lentil patty. <laughs> and I'm doing some fresh catfish that I just uh, caught a few minutes ago in the big river out blackened. back behind the uh -huh. station. I'm be blackening oh, big river. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I have been promoted to second uh, knucklehead in charge of the station here. <laughs> oh. So you'll know which knucklehead to see when you want to. You know, uh -huh. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> for important need stuff, a come to me. Dust rag or <laughs> I am. I'm going to blacken some fish, and I've never done it before, so it should be right interesting. Yes, it should. Plus, it, I understand it makes a lot of smoke. Well, everything. it does. The last time we had one of those, it had a hose company number four showed yeah. up. And you have such a pretty sweater on today, albeit cat hairy. Oh, come on. It doesn't. <laughs> Just a few here and there. But anyway. I guess that sweater will be totally ruined, and you'll be billing the station for it. Well, I have got about six yeah. shirts and I two mean, sweaters. Got a, you're on a roll the station with the, this year. Screw it up the sweaters around. And here. a lot of <laughs> and a lot of extra mayonnaise that I build the station for. Oh, Miss uh, Doris Ford, who helps us out here, was consulting with me just before we went on the air here a few minutes ago. We've decided this is a strange recipe. <laughs> you think that's strange? Oh. Wait till you see this mess. Oh, do we have to look at this? Oh, lentils. You know, I fixed lentils one time many years ago on this show, and nobody liked them then, and I doubt very seriously if anyone's going to like them any better today. Well, let Lentil me patties. Have you ever heard of those? Oh, things it's like? nasty. Well, let me show people what the lentils are, and right. then i got to mash them while you start. But lentils are dried legumes. Mm. There they are. They're, they're like little dried peas, and they are just nasty. Now, there'll be a lot of lentil freaks out there that'll <laughs> write in and just lay me to fill. No, Laban, I, I don't think so. Somehow, I don't really believe we're going to have a lot of lentil freaks out there. But you know, we had a real bad experience here on Cooking oh, Cheap. Oh, no, you're not going to tell that on eight the air. years ago <laughs> oh. with lentils. You remember that? Oh. Yes, yes. And I've yes. had it out for them ever since. Uh. But uh, this, <laughs> Never this did recipe, get that. Well, Wanda Wilson <laughs> of Shreveport, Louisiana. WW. Yeah. Old WW. Wanda, well, we're making it. Yeah, it better we, be good. That's I all. remember that, John, so we never did get that stain out. Let what? me tell you, what? these lentils are dried beans, which I am not fond of, as we all know. Mm. I don't care for dried beans, mm. particularly, but I soaked them overnight in water to cover, and that kind of loosened them up a little bit, and then you have to cook them for an hour and a half. They are among the hardest of all dried beans to get to absorb the liquid, so it takes a lot longer. Years ago, when I used to be a, a drama director, there used to be a one-act play that every high school in the world did called Ten Who Passed While the Lentils Boiled. And now I can see why, because it just takes forever to get them to, to give it up. And that's all I got to say about this mess, which Ten is now reminiscent passed. of while the lentils, boy. Look at it. Isn't it attractive? Remind you of anything? You remember when yes, we went down to Booker me, T. Washington's It does. It reminds me of that famous farm. play, Ten Who Passed While the Lentils Boiled, <laughs> which I've never heard of in my life. And I'm glad I missed it, but I'm going to wait for the book. Well, if you hadn't been a high school dropout, you would have heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hit it. It's all yours, Bly. Okay, well, the first thing I'm doing is I have just a little margarine. I have just a little margarine that is melted over here because we're going to have to dip, dip our fillets in it in a little while in order to get all just of the... Just dip your fillet. <laughs> <laughs> in order to get the stuff to stick to it. Oh, we've got off on a Woo, okay. I'm telling you, this has been some day already. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make up the little dry mixture <laughs> that we are going to 
sort of salt this thing with so that we can do the Cajun blackened fish, all right, the catfish. And here's what we got to do with that. And I'm just going to go right down over it here, a tablespoon of sweet paprika. A tablespoon of sweet paprika. Oh, sweet paprika. <laughs> there we go. I don't know whether this is sweet or not. <laughs> got some up my nose. Okay, and then a half of a pound of unsalted butter. Well, the salted butter is being, uh, unsalted butter is being melted. Sweet paprika, two and a half teaspoons of salt. Two and a half teaspoons of salt. I actually remember to bring salt with me today because we've been having problems with that. Two. Are we out of salt? Well, I don't know. I never trust things. Well, you must have too much. some at home. Uh, <laughs> I've taken the last bit of guff I'm going to take from him over this show. One teaspoon of onion powder. Teaspoon of onion powder. And a teaspoon of garlic powder. I hope we don't have to breathe in anyone's face after this uh, recipe. I've got a lot of garlic in this thing. I'm telling you now. There we go, and then we're going to take three quarters of a teaspoon of white pepper. You know this is just going to set you free, this stuff. White pepper, a little bit of that. Well, I have a feeling these lentil patties are going to be a moving experience for everyone later on. Oh, for heaven's <laughs> sake. A teaspoon of ground pepper. Well, there's something wrong with my mill. The seeds are coming out whole. I've been telling you, you got to... No, no, okay, it's doing a little bit better. <laughs> Not much, but a little bit. I wonder if it... Is there anything in there? Uh, all right, enough of that. Fresh ground. And then regular black pepper. We need uh, three-quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper. I uh, have no idea. Uh, uh, and a half teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. These ought to be good and dried because I think these the thyme goes back pre-70s, as I recall. I found this in the back of my, in oh, the back no, of my car. Oh, no, not in your own. <laughs> it was stashed under the Ladies seat Ladies and gentlemen, reason. you would cry. You would weep in shame for him if you could see his spice cabinet. Well, it is. it does have some right old stuff in you know, Old geriatric. Once in a while, you need to go through your spice cabinet and throw old stuff away and make a note of what you've thrown away so you can go out and get some new to replace it because this stuff doesn't last forever. Baby, I want to tell you, Eve used some of your spices in that apple pan dowdy she made after Adam took <laughs> one bite out of that She wasn't supposed to. Apple. I told her to keep her hands <laughs> off it. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano leaves. That I just put in there. Now, I'm going to mix that all up. Now, that's your mixture. That's your very fine mixture that you're going to sort of dredge this thing through here in a little bit. Ooh, you know that's gonna be hot, 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 hot. And the next thing we need to do, and I'm gonna do that right now, now that I've mixed that mixture up. Oh, excuse me. Well, are we keeping you up? Well, I've had like seven peppers up my nose. <laughs> now, the next thing you gotta do is Turn on, turn on a real heavy, this is a pretty heavy pan. It is, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's a heavy pan. And we gotta get that thing real hot, but you don't wanna leave it that way too long with nothing in it, you'll just warp that thing. So what we're gonna do with this pan is, thank you, Tom. I'm gonna go back and take out camera number three here in a minute. But anyway, mm -hmm. we're gonna heat this up real hot so that when we're ready for it, fiery we can black hot. it fiery hot with nothing else, with nothing in it. So you're going to have to be careful about this, okay? And I'm going to do, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my fresh catfish. <laughs> Let me unwrap it here. <laughs> catfish fillets. Woo, they're pretty. They really are. And what you got to do is you got to run those things through this. Oh, no. Through this. Are they still alive? And then the next thing you got to do is, is, is rub this stuff on it. How do you do that? Oh, shut up, Doris. <laughs> she has just taken great relish in the fact that I don't know what in the world I'm doing. Just do it this way. Just do it that way. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
Isn't that lovely? And then flop it over and do it on the other side. Please don't talk about flopping all over. Right. Somebody out there might do it. And now I'm going to do that until we get all of them. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm heating this thing up. So uh, we're back to Mr. Johnson at this point until I have a chance to do all these. Well, I'm heating up some oil here in our uh, cook and cheap uh, pan. And this is one of our old real bad ones from the old days. This one's going to be a real bad one too when <sighs> I get finished with it. I have a funny feeling. And I'm going to put into it a cup of chopped onion, two ribs of celery that have been chopped, and a couple of cloves of garlic. And Doris, I need a, a spoon. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, it smells it. fishy out here. I mean, you, you want me to? Yeah, thank you. I got to stir this. Uh, stuff up. Now I have to saute all of this little mixture of stuff here and then it's going to go into our lentil mixture and we may have to put some cracker crumbs in it to make sure that uh, it has a consistency that is uh, firm enough to make patties out of it. You reckon this thing's hot enough now? You reckon it is? Well I'm anxious to see. Should I try it? No. Seems to me like it ought to go whoom! Well, it isn't going to go humph, and it's too late. Oh, to there's no breading on that one, on oh, the back. Is, oh, it is too. Breading on all of them. It all kept on the state on the plate. Well, it smells like it's supposed to smell. I'm going to get three of them in here. Get in there. And you do this three minutes per side. And that's, that's all there is to my recipe. I'm finished. I'll be seeing you all around. I got things I got to do. <laughs> but see you later. Well, while he goes and dorks around this, <laughs> back here at, <laughs> at the sink, I'm just going to keep oh, mashing on my walls a little bit. <laughs> Nobody calls me a dork and gets by with it on you this show. You want to bet? <laughs> I just did it. By the way, I asked you to ask me to do something and you didn't do it. What was I supposed to ask you? were supposed to ask me about oh, this yeah. big spoon. Oh, What's the big deal about the big spoon? Well, our fine friends up at the lake, you know where the lake's at. Miss Doris lives at the lake. Oh, yeah. That big restaurant up there, out there, I forget what it is, the Lagoon Restaurant or something. I can't think of the name of it. Oh, how terrible. It, well, it is terrible. What is the name of that? The Cove. No, the Cove. No, no, that's yeah. not it. Near the Cove. That's, that's I guess. another restaurant. <laughs> well, I don't know. But anyway, they gave me the spoon the last time I was up there, brought it out from their kitchen and said, you never have any spoons on your show, and I'm going to give you one from my kitchen. Did brought this big spoon. And well, thanks an awful lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Well, it's really good that we got it today since we're not having anything <laughs> that you'd use a spoon with. I have grown that so we know of at this point. fond of it at my house that I haven't, that's the first it's seen the studio, and I'm going to put it back in my bag and take it back home again because he's been so nasty today. I'm going to use it for myself. That's what I'm going to do. We're out of paper towels. Well, it, you've been so extravagant with We're them, I'm not surprised. I used one. Now, wait a minute. Extravagant, Grint. Here, put this over your head. No, <laughs> no, we've done that before. Let me see how these things are doing. It's supposed to go three minutes per side. You reckon I'll ever get them up? I don't know. Oh, I'm so worried about <laughs> this stuff. I just know it's not going to do what it's supposed to do. That's as hot as I can get it. Well, while we're frying, why don't we bring the Cook Sisters in and give us some advice? About what? About why we're having such a hard time getting this fiery <laughs> hot fire to... This fiery hot fire isn't as hot as it's supposed to be. Well, they're coming in here to tell us some things, you know, from the Cook Sisters Museum. So well, great. We hey, uh, Toots. Huh? Quit playing with your dress. Oh, it's so Doesn't pretty and nice. frilly and Mama clean. Mama always told you to keep your dress down. Oh, excuse hey, me. Hey, do you remember this? Mama used it on you enough. Oh, used to chase me around with it all the time. Yep. This is a uh, brother Billy played uh, hockey with it too. I believe when you were in show business, they used to hook you off the stage yeah. with it. <laughs> anyway, well, actually, it's an apple butter paddle. Oh, you remember we'd yeah, make the butter down right. in the big old pot. And there's and an you'd old have copper to stir pot. and stir. Copper bucket. Uh huh. And stir and stir. Uh, I'm getting a little stirred up. Uh, we're both stir crazy. I'm Sister Cook and I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the Cook, Cook sisters. sisters. I remember 
When you were on that health kick and you wouldn't make apple butter, you tried to make apple margarine uh. one time. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Hey, regarding this recipe, there's a little note here from whoever sent this in, and I don't know who sent it in. It's somebody's initials, KS. Who is that? That's all that Somebody we know? Mm -hmm. Says, I just used my electric fry plan, Teflon, on its highest setting, and it worked great. So maybe that's what I should have done. But I didn't want to drag that in today. So I just left it at home. Well, yeah. we'll see. This stuff is, sure. is well, rolling. My stuff is frying along real good, too. It's not getting black, but it sure is getting brown. And the fish is puffing up right nice. Well, I'm going to start putting. Oh, it's looking pretty on the, on the edge. You see that? Looking lovely. If I just let it sit there for a couple of minutes like it's supposed to be, it'll be all right. Turning it ought to be a lot of fun, don't you, Ray? Uh-huh. Well, it I've smells got, I'm, like Cajun fish should smell. I'm Ooh, putting all these cooked vegetables. The onions are limp, and I'm just going to put them over here into my mixture. Now, I have to keep the rest of this oil fiery hot because I'm going to cook these patties in the hot oil. Oh, Bly, I just know this is going to be awful. <laughs> it does look right terrible, I must tell you. Oh, Ooh. now wait a minute. Where's my Earl? Here it is. Oh, you would. Now, oh, I like lentils. Oh, yeah. Now, sure. while we're waiting for him to do that, I have a great big, isn't this the biggest lemon you've ever seen in your life? This is a lemon with a gland problem. I'm just certain. Now, look at that thing. It's huge. And what I'm going to do is just cut that into some little slices because we're going to be able to, to uh, put those on the side of the plate and, you, and you'll just be able to squeeze that over top of your, in fact, I'm going to start making a lovely presentation here and uh, for our fish. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a piece of art. No ah, those are the that. biggest. I want to tell you, let not are the get biggest that in the way in the shot. It's lemons a lovely I've shot, seen. too, I might add. Uh -huh. huh. Well, now, I have added a handful of breadcrumbs over here in this stuff because I don't think it's going to... Would you be... Can I flip a fl fish? Go ahead. Well, it does look like it's blackening. It is. Starting to, starting to do what it's supposed to do. But this thing isn't as hot as it should be. Now, I don't know why that is, but it isn't. Oh, All Lord, right, I knew there'd be one that would fall apart for the day. Now, Bly, here, here's, I'm going to make a patty now. Now, this is going to be real messy, but. Now, let me tell him something after you get finished with that. Well, watch him make his patty, and then I'll tell oh. you something else here. <laughs> Oh boy, that looks good, Laban. Should I make how many? Uh, how many people want one? Would you raise your hands out there, all you camera persons? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. People lined up from other TV stations. Camera people from other television stations are in here well, waiting for this. Some of those other stations can't afford to yeah. pay anybody. Pay like we do here on this show. <laughs> especially that. Especially those two down the street. <laughs> Yeah, that low-priced one and that medium-priced one. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take just that would fell apart there, Johnson, didn't it? Ah! <laughs> I'm so sick <laughs> of this And now he's stuff. falling apart. We're going to take a little of this extra margarine, which we've saved Whoop. back at this point, and it says to sort of drizzle it over top of it while it's frying on the second side. I have no idea why you do this, and Doris doesn't know either, and if she does, she's not telling me. I think she might know, but I she's think not it telling. Just flavors it up. Oh, is that what it does? Uh -huh. There we go. Doesn't that look real pretty? Now you know that's going to get real black in a hurry because that margarine can't take that heat. Uh huh. Now the fun over here is going to be when I try to turn some of this mess uh -huh. over. Uh huh. Yeah, that ought to be. I'm going to let fun. it stay on there till it gets blackened on one side. And well, the crust while we're will doing that, let's go to our let's recipes. Let's get the recipes. The lentil patties Lovely sit in by patty. Wanda Wilson, two cups of mashed lentils, two sticks of celery, a cup of chopped onion, two tablespoons of olive oil, and two minced cloves of garlic. And 
of the blackened catfish. Six catfish fillets, you'll notice I'm only using three today because I didn't have a big enough pan for six of them. A half a pound of unsalted butter melted, and then your seasoning mixes as follows. One tablespoon of sweet paprika, two and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of ground powder, three quarters teaspoon white pepper, three uh, pepper is what I meant to say, three quarters teaspoon black pepper, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves, Ooh. and a half a teaspoon of dyed, dyed oregano oh, leaves, no. it says. Oh, Miss <laughs> Carol has done oh. it now. She's been sick. But Bless she, her heart, she yeah. dropped her R. Well, of course, you know, when you pluck those leaves <laughs> off the oregano plant, they die. They scream and they yell. That's it's okay, Miss Carol. It's all right. You looked a little dead yourself last time. <laughs> I Ooh. Ooh. Well, I mean, she's been sick. She's been yeah, sick. Yeah, let's just take it easy now. So we're going out of hand here. All right, That's right. the witch said she had a letter and she wanted you to read it. Oh, I so hate that when that happens. Oh, no. Good grief. Oh, she still got on her birthday hat. Get out of here. <laughs> well, she's gone. Dear twerps. <laughs> Go jump in the lake. You stink. And so does your food. Cordially, El Grande de Salem. Salem. Rocky Mount, Virginia. Oh, go jump. In. All right, next week we'll go jump in the lake. That's right. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go party on a, on a big party boat at a lake near here and have a lot of fun with our friend Captain Evil. I'm taking these fillets off and putting them on. Oh, the, dear. I'm Look trying to mess. take these fillets off. Do you have plenty of tartar sauce? I don't have any tartar sauce. What? what are you talking about? You don't need tartar sauce. This is Cajun. You don't eat tartar sauce with Cajun food. Well, they do down in Bedford County where my people <laughs> come from. Yeah, a lot of Cajun uh, <laughs> people down that way. Okay, there we go. Well, I can't go. Well, you can go over there, but my, my little ones. patties just don't seem like they're hardly... I would yet. call They're these crusty. I would call these brown Cajun catfish, but I don't think I'd call them black and Cajun. No. And they're only supposed to go like three minutes aside, so this is not hot enough. I need a hotter fire for whatever reason I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe the pan could have been. Maybe hotter. the pan wasn't quite right. But hey, they're done, and they're yeah, going to be delicious. And they're kind of black around the Well, edges. a little bit. Yeah. Now, isn't it funny? Everything else I've prepared here in the past couple of years has been black. Totally. <laughs> Burned. And today I need to do it and I can't. Oh well. Well, I'll just stand here and watch him flip oh, these lentil I'm, burgers. Oh, I flipped them once. I'm not going to try it again. You have? Uh-huh. Well, they don't look very brown to me. No, they, they don't. They look kind of green inside. Well, look at mm, this one. boy. Oh, yeah, this will be big in the old Blue Ridge Public Television uh, cafeteria. Now, I'm just going to leave that patty in the hot grease so that the crew can have one when their time comes, because they always love our cooking so much. This is going to be one of those times, I just know, when the crew is going to go home before the show ends. Okay. Here, let me slide Oh, I didn't bring anything to serve this fish with. I don't have anything to serve. Oh, here we go. I'll be right back, Laban. Oh, here, have one of the <laughs> enormous catfish fillets. fillets. Oh, they look delicious. And here, have yourself a, a, a big old... Have yourself a, a chunk of... Really juicy lemon. All right. I'm going to take a little... Take a little of that juice and put it on. Now, I will try the lentil burger. Mm-mm-mm. wonder if you can barbecue these things. I don't think it would hold in the grill. One minute. Tastes like a dead possum. It's an interesting taste. I don't know what I think of it. It's not bad. It's not good. Well, let me try the catfish here. It's it's interesting. It really is. This reminds I'm, me. I'm I'm trying to think of something to say about it. This reminds me of your cat Lammy. Because <laughs> it's oh, all how, how <laughs> terrible. Oh, awful. I would never do this to my cat. Hmm. Hmm. Thirty seconds. Well. well 
Ooh, that's spicy. Now, the catfish is this. real good and real spicy. And the lemon, this uh, stuff is. I like the catfish. I don't know what to think about the lentil burgers. What do you think of them, Laban? Well, well got to go. <laughs> Bye.